ZBrush just came out with a new update. 2021.6 is out. In this new update, you have a couple of new brushes like new snake hook brushes and curve brushes. The one that I'm most excited about is Mesh Project. I am so excited to get into this new update. Let's check it out. First, I use the slide brush to do this. Turns out there's a new curve alpha brush that you can use to draw hair strands in just a couple of seconds. The new snake hook brushes are amazing because you can draw a curve on your mesh, grab it, and pull it in any direction, and you can use it with alphas. It is insane the amount of shapes that you can come up with using this simple curve brush. But the thing that I'm most excited for is the mesh project brush, which you can use to replace your mask brush, draw out a selection, hold shift, let go, and it projects new geometry on top of your subtool. You can also turn on Live Boolean with this brush, and it will create new subtools that automatically subtract into your subtool. So this is a super fast, non-destructive way to work with Booleans now. Look at this. You can draw a selection on top of your subtool, and it actually creates geometry similar to Extract, but only from that camera angle. And in just a couple of quick moves, you got some badass looking geometry. I'm most excited for the Mesh Project feature, so I'm going to show you how to use it right now. So first, go hold control, select your mesh project brush, set your stroke to curve, and start drawing out your selection by holding control and left clicking. You can double tap alt to pivot sharply on a corner so you can make a nice square shape. Then just hold shift, let go of your left click, and it will draw your selection. Keep in mind that you can do this as many times as you want, and it draws directly onto your subtool, similar to extract. Now if we want to do booleans, we can select our mesh project, turn on live boolean, set our stroke type to curve, and when we draw our selection, if we hold shift and let go of left click, it will draw on top of our object, but it will create that object as a new subtool of its own. Now, if we hold alt and we let go of left click, it will create a new subtool and it will boolean it into the subtool that we have selected. So you have to be mindful not to move the camera or it will reset and you have to reselect that same subtool. So keep the same subtool selected, draw your selection, hold alt, let go of left click, and it will boolean a new subtool into your object directly. As long as Live Boolean is turned on, you're creating new subtools every time that you draw a new selection. If you want to change the thickness of the selection when you draw it onto your object, go into Brush, go over to Mask Mesh Modifiers, and hold Control to activate your mask brush, and that will allow you to change the slider for the bevel, and the bevel affects how thick your object is when you create it. Also, underneath the Brush menu, you can go to Depth and you can drag the little dot higher or lower above that center line. Higher means that the object that you draw is going to sit higher above the mesh, and if you drag the dot below, it means that the object you draw is going to sit further into the mesh. The next brush that I'm so excited for is the Curve Alpha brush, which you can use to draw hair, and if you see here, you can just select an alpha from the menu, and if you look, it's just taking that alpha and extruding it out to a point like a hair strand. So you can change the alpha, do as many shapes as you want, and just go nuts. Hair used to be such a pain in ZBrush, and now it's making it so much easier. You can move the whole hair strand by grabbing the base of the curve, you can grab the tip and adjust the positioning there. This is so exciting because you can even create your own alphas and create hair strands in unique shapes like never before. I am so excited to get into this and just mess around with new stylized characters and hairstyles. New brushes, new curves, all kinds of new stuff. I am so excited for this 2021.6 update. I cannot wait to keep working on stuff. If you liked this video, if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with somebody that you know that you think it might help. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to see when I come up with new stuff. But until next time...